hears the news screaming. No, I don't really think so in the circumstances. That was a sign that it had been particularly tough. You wouldn't know otherwise. Okay, just leaving Inverness. Uh, and I've just been through a little hailstorm within about five minutes of starting, so I have no idea what the weather's going to do on this trip. But I'm looking forward to it all the same. Whew. It's not the mighty Mississippi, not the sunshine in LA. It's not a snow capped Rocky Mountain on a warm summer day. It's not the glow of a full moon shining in the night. There's nothing grand about a canyon that holds a candle to your sight. The most beauty that I've seen is you. See the snow capped mountains off in the distance, but oh man, what a place! What a place! I just come around the corner, and just like that, there's a lock. Well, getting ready for this trip and driving up last night and just stopping in a hotel last night. I've just been full of doubt, um, if I'm being honest. It's, it's not that easy to plan and actually take the plunge and go on a solo bikepacking trip. Um, you know, you're full of just what ifs. You know, what if I'm not fit enough? What if my bike breaks and I can't fix it? What if I get into trouble? Trouble, you know, um, have an accident in some remote place. What if something happens at home? <coughs> There's just so many reasons that you give yourself not to go. But I have to say, as soon as I started climbing out of Inverness this morning, and I hit the trails and just went into that amazing, like, Tolkien-esque wood, the pine forest, and just the miles of um, the Great Glen Way this morning. It's all forgotten, and there's just nowhere else I'd rather be. I mean, I've just popped out, seen the lake, and this is my lunch spot. You know, 
It's ridiculous. I can't believe this is free. Well, it takes quite a lot of calories getting here on a bicycle, but you know what I mean. Yeah. No sightings of Nessie as yet, but I will keep you posted. <laughs> Yeah, we're going the high route, definitely. Well, that's not a bad view. And I'm tempted actually to just find a little spot around here somewhere. Um, I do want to get a little bit higher though, just to kind of clear the trees if I can. This usually happens, I have, when I'm on tour, I have this mental image of the perfect spot to a wild camp. And um, of course it doesn't exist, you know, I don't know the route. Um, but I've just got this place on the map where it's kind of a little high point. I'll be starting in the morning, tomorrow descending, which would be quite nice after breakfast. So, much as uh, this little spot is stunning, and it really is, I'm going to uh, do about another half an hour and, fingers crossed, just get somewhere a little bit more out of the way uh, so I won't be disturbed in the morning. And uh, yeah, day one's almost done. Wow, look at this. It's... <sighs> Pretty special. <sighs> Not easy getting up here though. Oh well, folks, it's way past the time where I wanted to be in my tent and uh, cooking dinner. I do this every time. I've just gone past a couple of places, just thinking there'll be a better place a bit further down the road. And then for the last hour, I've just been hacking uphill through this horrible, actually it's lovely to ride through, but when you're looking for a place to camp, this horrible kind of uh, deforested, a uh, bit of mountainside, it's just bloody tree stumps and and bog, but I've just spotted a little flat patch of ground, uh, it's not too boggy and I'm absolutely done in, so this is me for the evening. Uh, a little bit out of the wind as well, so I think I've looked out a little bit. I haven't got the fantastic view of the lake that I wanted. Um, but I've got some really nice kind of snowy, snow-capped mountains off in the distance. And uh, yeah, I'm not pedalling anymore today. I am flipping tired. <laughs> <coughs> so next task for the day, get a tent up, get some dinner on and uh, get a change of clothes. So I'm pretty cold now and uh, just need to put some warm clothes on. <sighs> okay. Well, tonight, Matthew, our dinner is spicy pasta arrabbiata. Let's try it. It's not bad, and I'm absolutely starving, so it'll do.
So I watched a couple of YouTube videos of people doing <coughs> this route and um, there was this bit that um, everybody, well there's, there's a bit that everybody stops at and it's this sort of uh, dream catcher type thing. I think it's called a view, what is it, viewfinder or something. And um, <coughs> I've been thinking about it all day, it's like where the hell is it? <laughs> and have I cycled past it, have I missed it? And um, I can see it just over there. Um, so just as luck would have it, I've, um, I've ended up pitching my tent um, right next to, or practically on top of, the view catcher or whatever the hell it's called. I'll put the official name on screen if that's not what it's called. So uh, before the morning and uh, all the Instagram influencers hoard around it, taking selfies, <coughs> I thought I'd just wander down, stretch the legs, nicely off the bike and um, take a look before it gets dark. It can't be called a viewfinder surely, that's what you have in your camera, so I'm going to go with view catcher. And uh, here it is. It's a view, all right, and it catches it. <clears throat> Good morning everyone, cheers. First coffee of the day. Okay, we're all packed up and ready to go. Yeah, the weather's looking really nice today. And uh, I've got a couple of miles of downhill to start the day. So uh, yeah, let's go, day two. I'll be a warm place to lay when you're feeling cold. I'll be all in when you wanna fall When we're dancing life's dance You'll be the partner I hold You and me, together growing old When you're mourning, I'll mourn For your sadness and pain When you're happy, you'll put a smile on my face I won't be perfect But I promise I'll try every day For you And I Augustus, I really needed you this morning. 
and a big greasy salty burger and a couple of uh, cups of tea has done wonders for the spirits, energy levels and yeah I'm just uh, right at the tip of the lake changing direction now and heading back on the other side towards Inverness Folks, I'm going to do it again. It's uh, half three and I just cycled through about a mile of just 360 degree perfect places to camp. Absolutely beautiful little glade, glen, I don't know what you'd call it. But uh, true to form, I'm going to continue and I'll probably get myself into bother and like I did last night, end up hacking around late in the day trying to find somewhere just vaguely flat that isn't full of tree stumps and bog but um, if I can't find somewhere in an hour or so I'm really going to kick myself because this is absolutely beautiful but um, it's half three and it's just a bit early to be is it? I don't know yeah it's a bit early to be stopping um, I could actually push on and finish the ride today I've only got um, 23 miles left to go but I just want to find a nice spot have a chilled out evening and um, then just a nice easy day tomorrow oh man I'm going to kick myself if I end up in some bog in about an hour this is just stunning It's own large Hadron Collider or something. Or is that a hydro? Bond villain layer? The mind boggles. Anyway. Onwards! I'm not an expert on uh, land management or forestry. Arboriculture, is that what it's called? But, um, just looks to me like these areas where there's been lots of tree felling just seem really messed up and I don't really know what happens do they wait for years and then replant or I don't know if anyone wants to enlighten me please do oh Jesus big hill Thanks. 
just a wasteland of boggy, stumpy, rocky shite, basically. Pardon my French. Note to future self, when you're thinking of stopping and you see a perfect wild camp spot, stop and camp there. Don't plough on through miles and miles of bloody forestry tracks. Lovely as they are to cycle through. Six o'clock and I'm doing exactly what I did last night, which is being on the bike a little bit late. I have properly run out of energy. Um, I just need to eat. I mean, I've not had anything since lunch, bar a couple of snacks. And uh, that perfect camp spot that you have in your mind's eye, I have to remember, doesn't actually exist. Unless you know an area and you know you know where the sort of the sweet spots are. <sighs> I think I'm almost at the top of what was going to be tomorrow's big hill. <sighs> I'm such a dumbass. <laughs> but um, I, mean, I can't push on into Inverness tonight because I haven't got any accommodation sorted out, and I'm too tired to get my phone out and try and find a uh, network connection and book somewhere so I do need to find somewhere I've got some dinner Thai green curry I think it is which I'm so looking forward to because I'm starving but um, yeah it's not all uh, you know rainbows and unicorns this uh, solo bikepacking unsupported it has its moments and um, these are the moments when you look back and you kind of, you either forget them or you kind of just think, oh yeah, that was fun. And um, in the moment, it's sort of fun, you know. It's still a beautiful evening. There's not a spot of rain, there hasn't been a spot of rain all day. It's great to be out. Um, but I do want to get off the bike now. Okay, stop moaning, Martin. You're not going to go anywhere moaning, you need to start pedalling. <sighs> okay, let's do it. helmet came out for that descent. Still looking for a place to camp. This is going to be the theme of day two, I think. Where will he find to camp? Man, that uh, single track down from the top. Uh, sorry I didn't film it all, but that would be so much fun on a mountain bike without, you know, panniers and luggage. God, you would really scare yourself going down there. Whew. It's just superb. Right, just it, 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 you kind of look around and it looks like there's loads of places, but because it's just kind of stumpy, brackeny crap, it's very deceiving. And I've got off the bike a couple of times and kind of tramped over to what I thought was a flat piece of land, and it's um, it's just not quite good enough. Well, there's a place down there. Okay, the search continues. The longest five minutes in history is waiting for Thai green chicken curry to rehydrate. I'm so hungry. Good morning. First coffee of the day. It's always nice. Day three. A little run into Inverness. I didn't get murdered in the night by a crazy alpaca farmer. So, 
Cheers for the win. All packed up and leaving no trace. So true to the weather forecast, it started raining at about 2am and it's been on and off ever since. Pretty wet and I'm kind of starting to think yesterday was, <coughs> excuse me, yesterday was a good call pushing on. Uh, it wouldn't have been much fun going up over the final pass in this weather. So yeah, pretty cold, pretty wet, waterproof's on today. And this is the reason I've chosen this, uh, this Plan B route. Because the next few days the weather just deteriorates basically. But, um, you know, two nice days, two dry days. In the middle of what is a pretty bad week weather-wise up here. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. And, uh, yeah, just cruising along next to the lake. Sorry, lock. <laughs> Forget where I am. And uh, hopefully I can find uh, somewhere for a little second breakfast because a uh, pan au chocolat and a cup of coffee didn't quite hit the spot this morning. Anyway, onwards. Folks, I made it to Inverness at uh, 9.30 in the morning, so I've got a few hours to kill before I can check into the hotel that I've booked and uh, clean up and then hit the road back to Manchester tomorrow. Thank you so much for uh, watching this video to the end. Um, please do consider liking and subscribing if you'd be so kind. It really helps me out. And um, if you've got any questions about um, the Loch Ness 360 or bikepacking in the Highlands or any of the kit that you've seen me using, uh, feel free to drop me a comment and I'll do my very best to answer you. Otherwise, stay safe, take care and happy cycling. Bye!